Peter Sutter! In Super Smash Bros. Brawl, there was an easter egg called Snake's Codec Calls. Today, I'd like to share my top 10 favorites. So, let's get at it. Right now. Number 10. So, Snake, you're fighting Robot? Yeah, it's a robot. Although, couldn't they have come up with a better name? Actually, in the US, they called him Rob. Robot, Rob, take your pick. Fine. Rob it is, then. In North America, Rob's body was gray, like the NES. But in Japan, he had a white body and red arms, the color of the Japanese Famicom. <sighs> you sure know your geeky tech stuff, Otacon. <laughs> well, you know. Number nine! Ling, there's a mysterious masked man flying around here with a sword. That's Meta Knight. He's a knight from Dreamland. They say his sword swings can break the sound barrier. Whatever you do, don't get caught in one of his furious barrage attacks. He also commands the Halberd, a flying battleship. Mm, I've seen it. The bow looks like his mask. What kind of weirdo puts his face on the bow of a ship, anyway? Um... Maybe he's a little narcissistic. Kind of like someone else I know. Really? Who would that be? Use your imagination. Number eight. This guy kind of gives me the creeps. That's Wario, Snake. Wario first appeared as Mario's rival, but he really made his name in the WarioWare games. Watch out for Wario's bite. It's not just damage you take from it. What do you mean, Colonel? Wario loves garlic. He eats whole cloves of it day and night. So try not to get caught in his mouth. Once that smell gets on you, it'll stick to you for quite a while. <sighs> That's a scary thought. He also attacks by farting. He can fart to fly around, too. By farting? Are you kidding me? Sadly, no. I am not kidding. If his belly starts to bulge, watch out. Number seven. You're fighting Lucario, aren't you, Snake? Mei Ling, what's that purple fire coming out of his hands? That's his aura. Aura? I guess you could call it his life force. Lucario can use his own aura and turn it into power. Every time Lucario's damage increases, his aura gains strength, making his attacks more powerful. So don't think you've got him beat just because his health is down. Ah, the cornered rat will bite the cat. Sounds like trouble. Hey, who did you become so good with proverbs? Ah, you must have rubbed off on me. <laughs> we'll come back in one piece, and I'll teach you all the Chinese proverbs you can handle. Number six. Mei Ling, tell me what you know about Peach. Princess Peach is the beloved ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom. She's been kidnapped numerous times by Bowser. Sounds pretty serious. Yes, but every time it happens, Mario ends up saving her. Sure, he may not look like your ideal knight in shining armor. A little on the short side, I'd say. Still, don't you think it's romantic? I mean, to have a guy who's always there for you. If he was smart, he'd tell her to stop getting kidnapped. You don't get a lot of dates, do you, Snake? Number five! Oh, how cute! What? The yellow thing? That's Pikachu. It's a Pokemon. They're popular all over the world, you know? It may look cute, but be careful. It can store up large amounts of electricity in those adorable little cheeks. It'll try to pepper you with electric shocks. Couldn't be much worse than Ocelot's old torture device. Oh, and Snake? What? I was wondering, could you maybe try and catch Pikachu for me? Please? Uh, 
Uh, give me a break. What do I look like, a Pokemon trainer? Fine. Sorry I asked. Number four. Snake, watch out! For what? That pink marshmallow? That's Kirby, also known as Kirby from Dreamland. He's from another planet. In other words, an extraterrestrial. He's got a powerful stomach that lets him swallow and digest anything. And he also has a copy ability that allows him to mimic opponents, steal their moves, and use those moves against them. On top of that, he has the power to fly around the stage. So once he's got you in his sight, there's no place to run. Uh -huh. Yeah, got it. I'll keep an eye out. Number three! That guy with the mustache. Ah, you mean the king of second bananas? Hey, that's Luigi. Show him a little respect. Look at that pale skin. He's been living in his brother's shadow for too long. That's a low blow, Colonel. Ah, face it, Snake. Once a kid brother, always a kid brother. Colonel, what's gotten into you? Lolly lu le lo, lolly lu le lo, lolly lu le lo. Colonel, snap out of it. Colonel! Colonel! Number two! That kid, isn't that Ness? Ness? He may look like a mere boy, but don't let that fool you. He has PSI abilities that defy all scientific explanation. Hmm. Just like Psycho Mantis. Exactly. He can use teleportation, levitation, pyrokinesis, and psychokinesis. Yeah, but the question is, can he read minds? Not to my knowledge, no. Good. Then I won't have to worry about him predicting my every move. Even if he had telepathic powers, I don't think he'd use him to mess with you like that. I hear he's a good kid. Number one! This is Snake. Copy, Snake. This is Slippy. What? Who is this? What are you? Some kind of frog? Easy there, buddy. Just thought I'd hop in the wireless and give you a holler. Don't get mad. Packed right into my channel, huh? But I'm not here to mess nothing up. Don't worry. <sighs> just so you know, Falco uses a blaster and reflector that I designed, just like Fox does. But Falco will kick his reflector and send it flying around. Just showing off if you ask me. No reason a weapon can't have more than one use. In fact, I'd say its versatility shows how well you designed it. Hey, maybe so. I feel all fuzzy now. Thanks, Snake. Maybe next time we meet, you can design me a weapon. They could have called our hilarious! I might do a video along with Palutena's guidance. But anyway, they're one of my they're one of the funniest things I've seen in Brawl. I can't help but enjoy them. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.